Weekly Outlook, UK House Builder Results, Inflation and Retail Sales Provide Clues on Economy Monday 13 January UK Monthly and Quarterly GDP Figures in the UK Economic Data Should Come Back to the Top of News Headlines Again Starting on Monday with the Latest Monthly and Quarterly GDP Figures, said the Share Centre Investment Research Analyst Halal Mia. For November we may have seen the economy flatline for the second month in a row while both industrial and manufacturing data for the same month are likely to show falls on a year-over-year basis. U.S. Federal Budget Balance Tuesday 14 January Taylor Wimpy results The second trading week of 2020 kicks off with results from Taylor Wimpy. Shares in the FTSE 100 house build approved resilient last year, gaining 33% in value over the period which A.J. Bell Investment Director Russ Mould said was thanks to its huge dividend yield, a low interest rate environment and hopes that a Boris Johnson-led Tory government would be more supportive for the housing market. The firm should provide some insight into the UK's housing market and economy, while from a stock market perspective it is currently the second highest yielding stock in the FTSE 100, according to analysts' consensus forecasts, trailing only imperial brands. Mould said. Analysts will be paying close attention to headline figures like completion and average selling prices, as well as profits which are expected to come in at £820 million before taxes, he said. They will also looking to see if Chief Executive Pete Redfern reaffirms the company's cash return policy. Taylor Wimpy is looking to return just over £600 million to shareholders for 2019. That equates to just over 18p a share and it is that sum which underpins the double-digit dividend yield on the stock, said Mould. Shareholders will also be looking toward Mr Redfern for any forecasts on cash returns for 2020, as the builder had a net cash balance sheet at the end of last year to the tune of £644 million, he added. U.S. Smaller Companies Optimism Index from the National Federation of Independent Business Mould said recent figures have been encouraging of late with the last NFIB reading coming out at 104.7, only a handful of points below August's 2018's all-time high of 108.8. Wednesday 15 January Persimmon Trading Update UK Inflation Rate Analysts expect there to be a significant gap between the actual numbers around 1.5% in the Bank of England's target rate of 2% said Mia. The first of eight editions of the U.S. Beige Book is due out, featuring anecdotal evidence from the regional Federal Reserve Banks on the state of the American economy. Of all the U.S. macro reports out this week Mould thinks the Beige Book findings could most influence thinking at the Federal Open Markets Committee as it preps for its first policy meeting of the year on 28-29 January. The Fed's stated policy is to leave interest for more on this story, visit the news article link.